Well, good uh, morning, Simon. Thank you for uh, agreeing for this interview uh, for the INETE program. We're going to start with a few questions um, about your current job. Could you tell me uh, a little bit more of what you're currently doing, your job title, organization, and describe your current activities? Yes, okay. Uh, so good morning, everyone. So my current job, I just started is a postdoctoral fellowship, and I work at the Catalan Institute for Water Research. And this is funded by a fellowship that I want from the European Union under, under the Horizon 2020 program. And basically what I do is uh, fundamental research on wastewater microbiology. And the main goal is to mitigate uh, methane emissions from wastewater. So that is what I will do. Nice, interesting. And um, why did you uh, decide to enroll within the IMETE program? Uh, IMETE. So at the time when I was looking for master programs, I did apply to many. I applied for master programs in Europe, in Australia and in Canada. But what made me choose IMETE in the end was the diversity of the countries involved. Uh, also the nature of the program that you have to move one semester to each one of those countries and the description of how many nationalities are involved in the program. So that was very appealing to me because every other program was me going to Australia, being surrounded probably by Australians the most or Canadians the most. But this one was so diverse and it was really appealing. Um, what was your experience with the course and what did you like the most of it? My experience was quite interesting because I actually come from the first cohort of the IMETE, so we were basically the guinea pigs. I was uh, generation one. Uh, it was quite interesting. It was, it was quite challenging because uh, everything was unknown, you know. Uh, in particular, in the Czech Republic, I think it was quite um, interesting because the institute seemed as if we were the first batch of true international students they ever they had ever seen. So it was quite an experience. We really felt like uh, like rock stars arriving. Uh, in general, it was great. Uh, it was great. I think the program uh, for the first cohort was exceptionally organized because all transitions were really smooth. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was quite an enriching cultural experience. Okay. So you felt that it was very an, a very enriching experience by being exposed to so many cultures at the same time. Yeah, and uh, and so fast because it was every semester move, which is challenging. Some people don't like to move, but to me it was quite exciting to have the opportunity to see a different country, to explore uh, a different culture. Obviously not the language because in the case of Czech it's impossible, but still you experience a lot and uh, to have such a fast paced changing environment really helps you think, helps you see other points of view and helps you grow a lot. And what was the, your, how was your experience living in the three countries in Europe? Uh, my experience was great. Uh, I think when I left Mexico, I was ready for a change. So I didn't have any problems adjusting. I I actually didn't get homesick. I know that a lot of people may get homesick. I didn't. To me, it was all exciting. It was all new. Every single time, every semester that we had to move, I was ready. I was ready. I was happy. And uh, I was willing to explore something different, something new. What did you like of each country the most? Or what was your highlight in the experience? Um, well, to me, uh, you know, as a personal note, I like architecture. That is a, a little bit of why I chose Imete, because it was in Europe, and I know that new at the time, there, there was a lot of medieval architecture. So every single time that I moved to a different country, it was to see uh, different styles, different periods reflected in all the buildings. Uh, so in each country, in Delft, for example, what I was amazed by was the canals, the canals in Delft, uh, in the Czech Republic, uh, well, this, the whole city of Prague was uh, breathtaking to me, and uh, in Belgium it was also quite beautiful, so in, in every single country I got to experience uh, what I had liked the most since I was a kid, which is old architecture, and it was great.
What do you see yourself doing in the next few years? So what I see myself doing in the next few years is really related to what I have done before, which involves moving and connecting to different people. So just to elaborate a little bit, uh, when I finished IMETE, I did my PhD in the Netherlands in environmental microbiology, and after that I work in industry. I work for the pharmaceutical industry as a microbiologist, and it was quite a global role. So again, it was moving, it was traveling. Uh, I had a consultant role to execute projects abroad in the U.S., in Ireland, or remotely, as we're doing right now with many countries in uh, four continents. So I like that. I like to talk to people, I like to connect, and I like to find solutions on issues that are interconnected at different levels and different locations. So based on that, what I see myself doing is the same, but now in environmental and water quality. Uh, I really envision myself in a position where I can be that bridge between different disciplines. Sometimes there is a disconnect between engineers, between fundamental sciences. So I want to be a bridge to really connect all the dots and create applied solutions for current environmental issues at a large scale. That means connecting multiple countries, you know, uh, for example, the Southeast Asia region is something that interests me a lot. Um, in my experience in industry, what I did was a lot of uh, gap assessment and harmonizing uh, methodologies. So what I would like to do is to do that for environmental practices, policies, and technologies across countries, to have a common front for waste management, for wastewater treatment strategies, etc. So that is what I see myself doing. Nice. I think it's a really nice role. I think it's also very important as over the years the interconnectedness between topics is becoming more and more obvious and there is definitely a need for that. Yes. Um, so you kind of already sort of explained the answer to this question but I'll ask it to you so you can elaborate a little bit further. Uh, which is what is uh, the cause, idea or project that you believe in or you would like to pursue? Mm -hmm. so, one of, so, so the main objective of what I described before is uh, mostly targeted to wastewater treatment and engineer agricultural systems such as rice cultivation which is obviously growing a lot uh, as the population keeps growing in particular in Asia. In Asia. Uh, so the main idea is to harmonize and to do a gap assessment on all those emission sources uh, for greenhouse gases in that region and then come up with strategies so all the countries adopt the same policies or the same uh, engineering solutions to uh, improve the environmental quality and to prevent all these emissions and the loss of waste. Uh, one of the new topics that I really want to explore is to transform waste into value, or like I like to call it trash to treasure, uh, because there is a lot of compounds in all the wastewater that can be uh, cycled back. So then I want to also implement a, a culture or to try to enable a culture of circular economy related to environmental quality. Yeah, nice, really nice. I think it's quite important to learn from uh, from these experiences in the sanitary sector, especially when there's this whole development in cities in Southeast mm -hmm. Asia. Um, yeah, and, all, and not all the countries uh, handle it in the same manner. So then that is up to me a problem and there needs to be a common front. Totally agree. Do you think that the knowledge that you have gained from the IMETE program can help you to achieve this goal? So I will say yes, but I want to elaborate. So I think the knowledge from the IMETE program, uh, I don't know how much the program has changed since I did it. I know that there were some changes. Uh, I think yes, it helps you because the IMETE program offers you a menu of a lot of little things from the engineering context regarding environmental quality. You get to see a little bit of wastewater treatment, a little bit of, of uh, air pollution control, a little bit of uh, more in-depth engineering topics like membrane technology. There is a lot. Uh, also, in particular, in Delft, that is the part that I like the most. You see a lot about uh, social and economical aspects of environmental sciences. Uh, so then it is a, a broad menu of many different little things. 
And so it paints the picture of where you can go. I think it paints the picture of what you can do to focus later on one of those. So definitely helps. Uh, and I think uh, it complements a lot with the whole mobility scheme. So the, the professional that I am now oriented to the goals that I described and the experiences that I had relate always to the in the problem. Keep moving, keep knowing, keep connecting and keep uh, talking to more people. And what advice uh, would you give to uh, our students or anyone interested to apply to the IMETE program? Mm, my advice would be to reflect on what the IMETE program offers and what you would want to do in the future. Because I think it takes a very specific kind of profile to really find the meaning in what IMETE can offer you. So, for example, if in the end your goal would be to maybe just settle back into an old position, then it's great to have done a master like you mentioned, but I don't think you fully explore and exploit the potential that you can gain. So I think, yeah, the advice is uh, to, to think and reflect. Do you want to have a role to enable some change, or do you want to have a role where you want to uh, go further? Then Imeta definitely helps you a lot. So just think of what, where you want to go and how Imetic can help you get there. Okay. Thank you, Simon. This will be the end of the interview. I hope you have uh, a lovely end of the day. So I'll stop the recording now. Thank you very much.